Her nose is now in the books, but just five years ago, it was boots on the ground for Martha Green. When soldiers come back home, uh, a lot of them are unemployed, and they need someone out there that's going to stand with them. For this 20-year member of the National Guard, that was Troops to Teachers, a government-funded program that helped her get into the education system. But last November, funding was suddenly cut, leaving Martha feeling helpless about ever reaching her dream of becoming a public school teacher. It's a disgrace. I mean, these people put their lives on the line for us. Dr. Peter Leibman, an education professor at St. Francis College, has placed hundreds of student teachers into full-time jobs and is determined not to let the vets down. Danny Chen, a Marine, says they've already proved themselves. Here you are. You have all these traits that now you have to put it in place. You have to set yourself in. If this program is cut, then that means we have to try even hard to go find a job. For any current or former service member in the Northeast, St. Francis will be hosting a day-long program on March 25th where the college's top educators will work with veterans to get them those full-time jobs. There is an understanding that they are part of a, a greater mission for a greater good. That's just one similarity between the classroom and active duty. We have a lot of leadership skills. We make uh, tough decisions and uh, we persevere. The college is also applying for a $400,000 grant that would allow them to expand their own program to further assist members of the armed forces wanting to become teachers. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.